Do you want to know something hilarious? I just posted that to my Instagram when I look like this. If anyone's wondering how I ever look when I'm posting my Instagram pictures, this is a um this is an upgrade actually. Usually I'm at home in my pajamas with my hair like this and a packet of chocolate buttons hanging out my mouth to be honest with you. Um so anyway, that's just a bit of reality to start off 2024. Hi. It's been a hot minute. Let me set you up. Welcome back to my channel. I have been really excited to finally pick up the camera and start vlogging again guys. Uh, happy new year. I know that's probably the most belated happy new year you've ever had in your life. Honestly it just actually happened really accidentally. Obviously we did vlogmas and then <laughs> I just I just I just have not been, and listen, not to be really dramatic and not to take this video into a serious turn in the first five minutes, but I just wasn't really feeling myself. If you guys have been around since like autumn, you will know that we are currently living in what was originally supposed to be really, really temporary um, accommodation. Like, yeah, by this point, we thought that we were going to be fully out of there. We thought that we were going to be like settling into our new home and i don't know i know it sounds really silly but almost like life has been on hold since we've been living in this um rental accommodation it feels like i've been putting all of my happiness and like motivation to do anything like honestly just live my life and when i say that i don't even just mean like you know pick up the camera and vlog i mean like even look after myself and come to the gym or start like dressing nicely and i don't know i just I feel like, yeah, have you ever been in like a bit of a funk and you've been placing your happiness on external factors that actually is so ridiculous and such a silly thing to do because you just can never ever control anything in life, can you? All you can control is your own happiness and your own mindset towards stuff and I've been through that real realisation many a time before but recently it's been the most prominent because I just was getting to such a bad place. I was really like waiting to move out and I think... The reason why it's taken me so long to come and vlog is because I, we had so many kind of like stop start moments this month. There have been so many points where we've really felt like, oh my God, we're going to move out like in the next couple of days. Imagine knowing that Christmas day is coming. You need to like get prepared and buy the gifts and sort the house and da 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 da. But you don't actually know when Christmas day is. So you just kind of, you're like living in limbo. That has been my life, honestly, since autumn, but January especially, like, January we really thought we were going to be getting the green light, and yeah, like I said, there's been a lot of stop-start moments, and I haven't really known if I'm coming or going, and I guess mix that in with, like, the herd and, you know, hashtag mental health, uh, I guess it's just not really put me in, like, the greatest mindset. But, do you know what we did? We pulled ourselves out of it because we're a self-aware queen, and we say to ourselves... I'm not doing that. It was a full moon last night. Full moon of first full moon of 2024. In Leo. Leo is all about shining in the light of Leo, shining in the sunbeams of Leo, allowing our authentic selves to come through, letting go, releasing the old. Okay. I mean, this is every full moon. The meditation. I said, get off. I said, negative energy. Leave me right now. I'm not in the mood anymore. We're not doing it. What will be will be. What is meant for me will not pass me. Whatever I want wants me more. You know, all of the affirmations. Got my hair done yesterday. Got my nails done yesterday. Had my brows done. It's like we're ready to start again, you know? So that's why we are. Because, yeah, God, if anyone ever is, like, feeling low, honestly, but I'm, I'm just such a country music queen at the moment. I don't really know what's happened to me. Usually, you guys know me. I would have been, like, put on a bit of Spice Girls, put on a bit of S Club. I'm a country queen. Zach Bryan. Oh my god, here we go. Let me just like pretend like I really know everything about country music and impress country, actual country fans out there. Megan Maroney, Luke Coombs, Jordan Davies. Catch me in some cowboy boots and a hat sometime soon. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and just apologize for the radio silence. This is this is the thing, I guess, with like putting your life on the internet is sometimes I know it, obviously this is going to sound funny because it is winter, like it's literally a month of winter in January, but 
also I feel like we all have personal winters you know where we really like go inward and there's a lot of you know stuff that comes to the surface and then we need to do a little bit of reflection and we just we don't really feel like tap into our creative self I guess that's that's where I've been I've just not really felt like yeah in the right mindset to even know what I'm having for dinner babe let alone know what I'm gonna do a whole vlog about and sometimes I think as well even though I've been doing this for so many years it is really easy to get in your head and just think like why would anybody even want to watch my videos like honestly I know that probably sounds a bit silly because whenever any of my favorite youtubers say that I'm like I would watch you paint a wall and then watch it dry that's how much I love you <laughs> that's literally anyway we're still living in the rental cottage like i said mentally we were kind of only expecting to be there until like christmas time so that's what i prepared myself for that's what we kind of like you know all of our stuff is in storage as many as again as many of you guys will know we had some news at the start of this week that um insinuated to us that we were kind of going to be there for another like month or so before we're ready to maybe maybe up to a couple of months before we're able to move out and into our next place as much as i'm so grateful that we have that cottage and honestly like it has served us well we do feel like we're ready to get out of there now and um i said it was only meant to be like a really temporary thing and luckily uh there has been another like house that's come on the market that i just think is a little bit more family friendly and the terms of renting it really suit our situation as well because it's not like a uh like a minimum length contract or anything like that we've um we've been very very lucky that we've like kind of stumbled across it and i just i feel like everything happens for a reason and anyway so that is our plan and we should be moving out of our little temporary rental cottage actually next week and moving into that until well for the foreseeable until our like house that we are buying and yeah our next stage is we're like ready for that and we can go into that it i feel like at the moment you know when you go through phases in your life and you're like you're manifesting something so much that almost it's like it's never gonna happen like that's how it feels at the moment but do you know what i'm doing guys i'm just holding the vision and trusting the process and that's what we can do sometimes because like i said it's not up to us so much of life is not up to us all we can do is just control how we feel control our positivity and keep at that the best we can so in the meantime <laughs> i feel like i'm literally coming at you like a million and one different ways my life is changing at the moment but we're actually considering we haven't booked it yet but we're actually considering going to dubai for a week or so next week and i feel like that will be something that really um lifts our spirits makes us feel really happy it'll be really nice to get some winter sun although i say that but look at the beautiful sunlight shining through the car window this morning so anyway let's get this vlog started my love welcome back i missed you guys sorry for the radio silence but we are back i am parked outside the gym um the other day when i kind of decided to lift myself up out of this funk and i really like had a good talk with myself and i said ellie you've got to stop doing this do not place your happiness on external factors i am actually starting a brand new fitness and nutrition plan that i've set for myself i don't have any specific goal with it apart from feeling better about myself i have put off exercise and eating well for far too long and i think every time i'm in a funk and i think oh like how am i gonna get out of this honestly it sounds silly because i feel like it's all we hear but genuinely eating right and exercising it's like the recipe for natural happiness essentially it's like if you if you reward your body your body will reward you i am counting macros again this video isn't going to be like a like a fitness day in the life or anything like that if although if you want to see that then let me know and i can definitely do one of those but yeah i'm counting macros the only way that i find it enjoyable and that actually works and that i stay consistent with is macros i feel like i've tried everything but ma counting your macronutrients for me is the best thing and if you don't know what that is essentially it's counting your calories but a little bit more in depth so counting your fats your proteins and your carbs as well got my electrolytes in here this is actually a very a really random drink that i've started loving recently um connor works with a company called ghost i literally am like the secret biggest fan of their stuff because it literally tastes delicious in here i've got um electrolytes kiwi and strawberry flavor it literally tastes like a tropical like 
juice is just stunning. I'd be sipping on the beach and like uh, Marbella or something. I tried some of Connor's the other day and I was like, oh my god, what is that? That is absolutely stunning. He was like, yeah, it's the kiwi strawberry electrolytes. And also, he adds the mango creatine to it. I'm not saying I'm a creatine girly, but I'll have it for the mango. Because it like adds that extra little bit of spice to my drink, you know, and it's fun of the drinking water. Anyway, let's go get my key fob. Uh, pods. So take me down the road, it's a little bit windy To a place where they still put sugar in the ass tea Let's go I'm gonna go for a protein smoothie this morning. I just literally chop up a banana, um, some fat-free Greek style yogurt, some milk, and then a protein scoop. I might have it with a slice of toast as well, because I want to like eat something rather than just drink something, you know? I'm gonna book Dubai when you're at the gym then. No way, how you say that? Yes, I am. I need, I need to have my input. What are you booking, palms? The Palm Dubai, is that what it's called? The brand new one, 1 1.3 billion pounds. <laughs> no, there's actually a really good hotel that my sister told me about. That is literally, like, it looks like the, it looks like a hotel that's been designed specifically for children. It doesn't even look like an adult experience, does it? But, I tell but, you what, I'm still gonna have fun. Do you know what, when it when it's your kid's happiness, it's your happiness, am I right? I'm so, water it's just a little bit far out from the oh main bit. That's the only. That's the only thing. But I feel like Dubai is a place you get Ubers and stuff anyway. Yeah, I mean we got. A, we're gonna go to Legoland. We got a whole itinerary already planned. Oh, um, did you not get Cinnabon protein again? No, we got newer ones this time. Oh. A different selection. Marshmallow cereal milk. Yep. Give it a whirl. Have you ever tried this one? No, I haven't. My favourite is the um, chocolate chip one. You get chocolate chips in there. Do you think that'd be nice in a smoothie though? When's chocolate ever not nice, do you know what I mean? Oh. Oh, you got marshmallows in there? Yeah, that's a bit of me. I don't know if it suits banana. Yeah, that's more of an you know? evening treat when we're sat down watching Netflix. What's the other oh, one? Oh yeah, that smells that smells nice. I'm gonna or give that one a go. Cereal milk. No, I'm gonna give the chocolate chip cookie a work. Oh that smells that smells like cookie dough. Let's hope it tastes like it, right? Come on then Con, what's your code? Go on, I know I've been, what you I know you're I've been sat here waiting a few times actually. I've been waiting. What's your um, ghost code? Discount code SWIFT on the whole of the ghost website gets you 20% off. I think everyone needs to treat themselves on their wellness health journey this year because that's what we're doing, right? Yeah, their wellness girl era. That's it. Like that. That's the best thing about ghosts, actually. You can mix all their products together and all different flavours and they always taste good. Miss the salesman. <sighs> My old sales job came out then. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Oh, taste test. Come on, chocolate chip. Staring at the blank page before, before you, you Open up the, the dirty, dirty window, window Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find I went in between the harmonies there I feel like it's I not going to be as good as... I banana some... in it Oh I should have put like... Well, let's give it a taste Go on No, I... I actually like that con. Good. I actually do like that. I mean, the combination of ingredients was a bit sus, but as long as they work together, the banana and the cinnamon combo would have been better, though. Yeah, I like the cinnamon flavour because it goes nice with banana, but. We had a date night the other day and we went to watch that, didn't we, Con? Anyone but you. Loved it. 
Feel the rain on your skin. No, no one, one else can feel it for you. you. Only you can let it in. I'm excited to see Yo-Yo on this holiday though, because he's developed so much. I know. He's going to sit in the little splash pool. Yeah. With your swimming Swim cozy on. on. What do you think? He's going to get a little baby tan. He looks so handsome. This is what Romeo does when he's eating. <laughs> the hands. <laughs> Scrummy boy. Okay, so it's now Connor's turn to go to the gym. So I'm going to do a little bit of playing with Romeo. And I think I, I'm going to try and focus on Herbie. No one really wants to see that, babe. Connor's gone to the gym. Um, I am having a little bit of quality time with my boo but and I think today what I really want to try and start doing is like filtering through we don't have much here we've got like the toys and probably our clothes and that's about it in terms of like bulk stuff but I really want to try and filter through some um stuff that we can like take back to the storage unit we're obviously not going to need in Dubai and then like what we're gonna take to our new rental because our new rental is furnished. So yeah, we don't really need very much, but I wanna start doing all of that because if we're gonna go on holiday next week, then um, we're not really gonna have much time to like figure the decluttering and stuff out, but. Oh my God. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went. Again. He's definitely teething, he's always doing this. Clap, clap. We need to get you out of these. Why did your daddy put you in this, huh? We need to get you dressed for the day. the day you know go on then who's your new best mate kim k kim k thanks for the hookup she dm'd me the other day asking for my address oh no you wish i thought bro. she was gonna fly over but instead we got some you wish energy drinks good morning wow new trick new trick Oh, Romeo, I just can't. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to... What's the hair doing today? What's the hair doing today? We've got a new hairstyle every day over here, right? He's got so much hair. <laughs> and I didn't realise how much it had grown until I was looking back at pictures of when we first moved in here. And he literally had, like, next to none, really, compared to this. Thick head of hair. You've got your dad's jeans. Lucky boy. We are procrastinating today as you can see the house is starting to it's get bomb site boxed up it is not looking good bruv um, it's still getting boxed up but what are we choosing to do today we're going shopping let's go we say we're not gonna do chores today are we we're no. gonna treat ourselves Romeo, you did actually say you were going to pack up your wardrobe, actually, oh. Mr. Romeo. You did, actually. Oh. <laughs> Romeo is not even officially nine months yet. He's nine months next week. But he is in nine to 12 months, and it's like, it's not big on him. This morning is the first morning that I've washed my hair since I had it done. Um, and I actually, I'm like, I, you know when you get your hair cut and you're like, oh my god, I love it. But then you're like, oh, literally, I'm never going to be able to style like the hairdresser did. 
but I feel like she cut a couple, not very many, but she cut a couple of layers in and I genuinely feel like it's really helped with the way I style my hair so much. Taste we test. We are off. Oh yeah, go on then. Taste Look, test. Look, he's honestly Connor. Like Connor, if you want to know one thing about getting into Connor Swift's good books, it's bringing him like a famous energy drink. Like for a while, well, until we moved house, they just need to get hold of our new address, but we were on the Prime gifting this, like Logan Paul's Prime drink. And Con literally like thought. Me and, Pri me and, me and Logan are with Logan. good friends now. We DM every now and again. You know, like, do you know any by. like boyfriends in the back watching this? I don't know if you like watch Logan Paul or whatever, but where does he where does he live or where does he like Costa Rica? I don't know. I mean, yes, you is it Costa Rica or Puerto Rico? I don't know. It's one of the Ricas. Connor literally wanted to go on holiday because he wanted to be. No, possible. I just thought you know what? Let's try something different other than Dubai. Well, I thought. But where does Logan Paul go? Oh. No, it was just nice weather this time of the year. So yeah, anyway, we're headed into town today to do a little bit of holiday shopping. We went to the storage unit a couple of times yesterday and... Realised we have no clothes for Dubai. Yeah. Neither of us, all four of us have nothing. Yeah. Well, I've ordered a few bits for the boys that are hopefully going to come before we go. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, no. You got, like... Am I not one of the boys? Me and the boys. Can I just say? I'll be one now. Ten years time, I'll be one of the boys. These are Connor's. I was gonna say dad jokes. They're not even dad jokes. They're just Connor's. It's just Connor's sense of humour nowadays. I was gonna say it keeps me young, but I actually don't think it does. I think it ages me. If anyone wants that jokes is. like that in their life, get married and have kids. First, the smell. It smells like an energy drink. Kim K. I got big hopes. Okay, let's go. No, no. Let me try it. Do two sips. Kim K is gonna slay. She's got an energy drink, and it's she gave it to Bay. I was. No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to force advertise on this channel, okay? But I was expecting it not to be very nice. But I Connor, actually... what a horrible thing to say. No. What do you mean, Why are you expecting it to not be very nice? <laughs> I've never tried one of those energy drinks before. Okay, and look. A lot of companies get a lot of energy drinks wrong. You're such a troll. I'm not a troll. You literally are a troll. I'm literally saying it's nice. Connor is a troll. No, Ellie, I'm not a troll. Thank you, yo yo, sticking up for me. It's nice, that's what. It's like a backhanded compliment, that wasn't it? Let me rephrase it. That Kim K, you've smashed out of the park. <laughs> no, I'd say that just, it tastes like a standard energy drink to me. No, Ellie, you, I mean, you're not an energy drink on a suit. Oh, I'm sorry. Anybody else, what will be up next? Anyway, in bath for this we point. are nearly in bath, so yeah, we're going shopping. I'm really a little bit nervous to be honest. This was so like spare of the Why moment booking this holiday because it's winter. Yeah, like there I aren't going to be any we'll, summer clothes. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually find much yet. And ASOS wasn't coming through, was it? No, we've left it so late now. Nowhere else for delivery in time. Because I, I swear, if I order next day delivery, 90% chance it's not coming. Next oh day. look, another troll comment. It's not You're a troll with oh a capital T. Connor's ASOS got a problem is, with the world. No, ASOS is the only one that has very good shipping. Actually represent as well. Do you want me just to vlog? This is my <laughs> channel now. Guys, I had my tear trough removed as well. I wanted to talk to you guys about that. If you follow me on Instagram stories. You've not been on Instagram since know. then. No, on YouTube since you've had that removed. No, I haven't. Oh. It's been a hot minute. I had my tear trough for the removed. In case you're wondering if there's anything that looks different about me, I decided to have it removed because it was just looking quite swollen. And listen, I am honestly, I'm so rubbish at like picking up on stuff like that. Like, do you know when, I don't know, like I'm just rubbish at that kind of stuff. You're not rubbish at Thank you, Romeo. What do you mean? I, you I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe what? it. Like, I just... You're rubbish at what? Like, for example, I think my under eyes looked quite swollen for quite a long time, but I just didn't even, like, mm. think. I didn't even, like... No, I'm quite bad at that. Well. How, like, how do you describe that? I'm just, like, happy to go with the flow about stuff. 
You know what I mean? Is that a good way to put it? I'm just like, mm. well, it's not that deep. Wait, my under eyes were starting to look quite swollen and I started to realize it. And every time I would smile, there would be like, an, you can't see it anymore obviously because I don't have it, but there'd be like an indent here where the filler had just like sunk and then sat in my under eye and like it wasn't like lifted in where it was supposed to be. But then my thing was obviously, and this is not against tear drop filler, I might get tear drop filler again, like I, I don't know. Um, at the moment I'm really loving how I look without it and it makes me sad that I got it so young. Like when I think of my filler journey and I could do like, this is more of a conversation for growing and glowing the podcast if you haven't listened episodes every monday babe it does make me sad to think about like all the filler i got at such a young age and you know like when i started with botox and all that kind of stuff like yeah i just i'd be devastated if my little girl like did did that at such a young age you know and i just think it's a problem with society it's a problem with self-acceptance anyway i could go on a whole tangent but i got my teardrop filler a few years ago before i had either of my pregnancies and in my pregnancies obviously my face gained weight and then lost weight and just where that had happened it kind of like sunk to yeah a different part of where i wanted it to be and then like water stuck to it and it just didn't look great anymore so i decided to get rid of it and i'm really happy with it and honestly i'll tell you something when i got it removed i looked in the mirror because it dissolves really quickly if you've never had filler dissolved it like fill it dissolves like by the next day it was gone but i thought obviously i had bruising and stuff because i bruised really easily but i thought there she is you know like it really felt like i was just looking at myself again very deep for a chat about getting fully dissolved but 10 out of 10 would recommend love it i've been panic ordering for the kids right and um i did an order from shoe to get saint some new crocs because saint is a croc kind of kid in the sunshine but the thing is i thought his crocs from last summer weren't in the size he is now i thought he i thought they were in a six because now saints a seven going on an eight so i was like oh i'll buy them in a size seven and then i realized the crocs were actually in a size seven because saint just is so much taller and like bigger than other kids his age isn't he because he's got his father's genetics so, so i ordered them, them in a seven? yeah i bought them in a seven so i'm a bit silly so you have to get and i feel like crocs i feel like yeah like they look like yeah, yeah they are the same size aren't they yeah, yeah i'm gonna have to just, well i can take for seven and a half or an eight yeah but also look at these guys oh my god i died when i saw these online and th this was a bit of a cheeky purchase but I couldn't, couldn't not for my son. Oh my God. See that? Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's gonna look like such a, a cool guy. He might get his little uh, feet in there. Anyway, what are you looking for today? Uh, I'm looking for a few summer dresses. I'm actually looking for a few trousers. Come on, tell everyone about your new style. So, um, <sighs> Basically, when we move, I am changing. It's a fresh start for Connor Swift. A 30 year old dad now, right? Right. Can't be rolling around with graphic tees, yeah. high tops. So I'm going for the more. Some of them actually classical. are quite inappropriate. Yeah, I'm not taking that one to Dubai. No, you will not be. In no. fact, I'm going to throw that one in the bin, no, no, actually. No, actually. I just, I still like that. I don't think anyone catches on though. I don't think no one's ever put me up on it. No, I had to tell you about it. Basically, guys, <gasps> it's a represent t shirt, right? And it's literally got naked women on it. Who even buy that one? I didn't know until I put it. Liar! No, honest, honestly. Like, I, mean, I, I don't. What? I didn't know. No, I don't. When I buy a graphic tee, I don't sit there and analyse it. I say, yeah, the colours are nice, and then I buy it. I don't actually look to see what... You're literally a liar with a capital L with that statement. I can't even believe you tried to pull that one. It's the truth. I've got a t-shirt with a naked woman on it, but I didn't know. It's only, it's only like hips up, guys. She's clothed. She's topless. Up. She's topless. I don't know how I didn't even recognise. Like, see? That's what yeah, I'm saying. No, I, do, I know what you mean, but like... And I had that t-shirt for about a year. And you said... So, uh, oh, I even know this. And I was like, blind up. And I looked. And it's just staring you right in the face the whole time. It's just yeah, the most bizarre yeah. thing. So we need some new... Oh, right, no, so you don't want any new graphic tees no. is your point, right? No. Your old money card. I'm old money. I, 
mean, I do steal money, you know? <laughs> no, Els, come on, whenever I dress up like that, you always No, say Con, that. you're very handsome. It, no, it's I, not, not being handsome. I do just... think it's my favourite style of yours, actually. Well, that's the trend name, right? It doesn't, like, it's no, not necessarily old it's money. Like it's like posh, trend. it's like smart. Yeah. Like a nice pair of trousers and like a, a polo nice polo yeah. and like. Or even a long yeah. sleeve shirt. Whenever like, you've dressed like. Or a turtle. Oh, turtleneck. Yes, yeah, see, I don't like turtlenecks. No, I yeah. love you in a turtleneck. Anyway. Anyway, we're now in Bath. So that was a great. Journey. Great journey. 1122. Two. Connor, can I tell you something? All I'm seeing at the moment. It's 1122. 1-1-1, everywhere. That's none of them, mate. That's one one. Yeah, two. one one two two. It's still angel numbers, hun. Okay, guys, we've made it in for a bit of lunch. First time the journey is complete. Someone's hungry. Yeah, give me food. Excuse me, you can't eat, mum. Look at what Romeo does when he's hungry, guys. Yeah, please, mum. <gasps> this is what I deal with. The attitude of an eight-month-old. Can you imagine when he's sixteen? Can we all just wish me some luck, please? <laughs> We're still working on Romeo's taste buds, aren't we, Com? Slowly getting there. Still working Although, on that. Although, yes, last night he had that. Uh... Last night was a breakthrough. Yeah, it was a big moment for us. He had, basically, because honestly, it's been so much more of a struggle this time. And I thought that's strange, really. Like, I wouldn't have expected it because I always thought that, like, with my first, like, with Saint, it would have been a. Oh, right. Come on, Mum. It would have been harder to get to grips with weaning because it's your first time going through it but same he's always been a really good eater romeo whenever we try to get him on anything that basically is not either the bananas and coconuts at his kitchen pouch or the peaches is it peaches and banana he literally gags acts he's like he's gonna throw up like, as if, like... if he could talk it would be like that is the most vile thing i've ever tasted you silly woman why are you giving me that to eat i did a little bit of research into like um, toddler and baby meal prep companies and I found this really good one called Loon and Wild and I bought loads of stuff from there. He has literally... Yesterday he ate the whole thing. A double, it was a double, it was a double the first portion time. Well. And how many meals yeah. have we tried to give him from there? Probably about 10 at this point. And last night it was the first time he actually had any and it was like a Mexican... It had beans, like chickpeas in there. Like... Which is... No, there was a big moment. We were, all three of us were yeah. hyping him up, saying, "Go on, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Finish yeah. it." And yeah. We did. Anyway, so we've come to Comptoir anyway. Lebanese, which I've never been in Bath. It's in Southgate. If there's anyone who lives in Bath watching this, I've actually been there before on a solo oh. date, believe it or not, and it was very nice. So we're back here again. And this time, I've decided to take my beautiful wife out for a date. Our food has arrived. Excuse me. This is the kofta wrap. No, wait. What did I get? Excuse me. Mr. Chicken. Wow, oh. Romeo. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, no. Okay, you can have some. Wait a minute. So yummy. I feel like this vlog has been an awful lot of just looking at my face and listening to me talk. And usually, like. I like to get a little bit more like action and stuff in the vlog, but this, yeah, it just seems to have been a lot of my face. So I hope you don't mind that. Um, I'm now home from my shopping extravaganza. Luckily for us, there were actually quite a few good bits, like summery bits in the shops. Hollister actually surprisingly was the best one. They had like full on like swimwear and bikinis and stuff in Hollister and both Colin and I actually got quite a lot from there, but um, I'll save all of that for the pending holiday vlog i also went into space nk and could not help myself like so many amazing bits in there at the moment so yeah i got a few little new makeup bits and i am just very aware of how long this video already is so i'm gonna save like a haul and everything until the next video but i'm just coming on to love you and leave you today guys honestly from the bottom of my heart i really really am so happy to be back on youtube um i know i've already like discussed it and stuff but sometimes it's just a bit rubbish when you're just not feeling 100 percent and you're just not feeling yourself especially when i feel like this industry is very like fast paced i guess and just like i never want to come on and feel like i am being like a negative nancy or like you know presenting just like not necessarily 
necessarily my best happiest self because that's not life and lord knows you guys have seen me through some of the worst times of my life but yeah just it's been hard to get myself like back into my kind of like inspired creative space and I feel just really really happy that first video back is done because it's always the hardest thing like you know when you haven't done something for a while and you're like oh my god I need to find my feet again so anyway I'm rambling but love you guys so much thank you so much for watching um I'm excited to be back I'm ready for some really fun vlogs. A little bit of a life transition coming up once more for us. Obviously, after after the holiday, we'll be moving into a new rental. And then, guys, I am so past, like, this whole moving house process. It is... It's honestly been draining the life out of me. So, yeah. I'm ready to just feel a little bit more settled. My Saturn return is actually coming up in May. And it's all to do with, like feeling settled somewhere and anyway we can get into that another day but love you so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next vlog bye guys i missed you so much i'm so happy to be back